Magandang araw mga kasipnayan! Welcome to Sir Oknik's YouTube channel. In this video, we will illustrate measures of position and we will calculate the quartile of an ungrouped data. Let us first describe the measures of position. Measures of position give us a way to see where a certain data point or value falls in a sample or distribution. A measure can tell us whether a value is about the average or whether it's unusually high or low. Measures of position are used for quantitative data that falls on some numerical scale. The idea of the median can be associated with the concepts of quartiles, deciles, and percentiles. If the median divides the data into two equal parts, the quartile divides it into four, deciles into 10, and percentile into 100 equal parts. In this video, we are going to focus on quartiles. The median divides the data into a lower half and an upper half. The lower quartile is the middle value of the lower half, while the upper quartile is the middle value of the upper half. The quartiles are the points that divide the distribution into four equal parts. These values are denoted by Q sub 1, Q sub 2, and Q sub 3. 25% of the data will fall below the first quartile, 50% are below the second quartile, and 75% are less than the third quartile. The second or the middle quartile is also the median for the given set of scores. What is an interquartile range? It is the difference between the third and first quartile, which is denoted by Q sub 3 minus Q sub 1. It gives the spread around the center of the data. Also, it indicates the location of the middle 50% of the data. Let us have our first example. The scores of 15 students in Mathematics 10 quiz consist of 25 items. The highest score is 25 and the lowest score is 10. Here are the scores. Find Q sub 1, Q sub 2, Q sub 3, and the interquartile range of the data. The first thing to do is to arrange the scores in ascending order before determining the positions. The arranged scores are 10, 10, 12, 12, 13, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15, 15, 17, 18, 18, 20, and 25. Using the arranged scores, let us now identify the second quadrant or second quartile. Since the total number of scores or the total number of scores is 15, then the 8th score is the middle score or the quartile 2. Now let us determine the median of the lower quartile. There are 7 scores 
in the lower quartile. And the middle score among the seven score is the fourth score. That means that 12 or the fourth score is the first quartile. In the upper quartile, there are also seven scores. The middle score among the seven scores is the fourth score. That means that 18 is at the third quartile. To solve for the interquartile range, that is Q sub 3 minus Q sub 1. Since Q sub 3 is 18 and Q sub 1 is equal to 12, that will be 18 minus 12, which is equal to 6. 6 is our interquartile range. Let us have our second example. The scores of 9 students in a mathematics class are the following. Find Q sub 1, Q sub 2, Q sub 3, and the interquartile range. Again, arrange first the scores in ascending order. The arranged scores are 2, 4, 5, 7, 10, 15, 16, 17, and 19. Using these scores, let us first identify the second quartile. Since we have 9 scores, the middle score, if there are 9, is the fifth score. Therefore, quartile 2 is the score 10. Let us now identify the middle score of our lower quartile. In this case, we have only 4 scores. To identify the middle score, so the middle score is located between the second and the third score. To identify the middle score, that will be 4 plus 5 divided by 2. 4 and 5 are the second and third score based on the arrangement. So that will be 4 plus 5 all over 2 or simply 9 over 2 which is equal to 4.5. Same thing in identifying the third quartile in this group of scores. We, we have four scores at the upper quartile. The third quartile is located between the second and third score of the upper quartile. Therefore, to find the quartile 3, that will be 16 plus 17 all over 2, which is equal to 33 over 2 or simply 16.5. Solving for the interquartile range, that will be 16.5 minus 4.5, which is equal to 12. That means that our interquartile range is equal to 12. For our next problem, a high school teacher assigns trigonometric practice problems to be worked via the net. Students must use a password to access the problems and the time of login and log off are automatically recorded for the teacher. At the end of the week, the teacher examines the amount of time each student spent working the assigned problem. The length of time is in minutes. Find Q sub 1, Q sub 2, Q sub 3 and the interquartal range. So let us first arrange the scores in ascending order before determining the positions. The correct arrangement is this one. Since the total number of scores is 14, that means that the median or quartile 2 is located between 7 
and 8 score. So to find 4 quartile 2, that will be 25 plus 28, which is equal to 53 over 2, or simply 26.5. There are 7 scores at the lower quartile. That means we can easily identify the middle score among the 7, which is the 4th score. Therefore, 22 is at the first quartile. There are also 7 scores at the upper quartile. Therefore, the fourth score of the upper quartile will be our third quartile or quartile 3, which is equal to 34. Solving for the interquartile range, Q sub 1 is equal to 22 and Q sub 3 is equal to 34. Therefore, for the, our interquartile range is equal to 34 minus 22, which is equal to 12. Let us now summarize what we have discussed. The quartiles are the points that divide the distribution into four equal parts. These values are denoted by Q sub 1, Q sub 2, and Q sub 3. 25% of the data will fall below the first quartile, 50% are below the second quartile, and 75% are less than the third quartile. The second or the middle quartile is also the median for the given set of scores. Let us now check your knowledge. Find Q sub 1, Q sub 2, and Q sub 3 and their interquartile range of the IQ test results of students of grade 10 justice. Do not forget to pause this video while you are doing the activity. Let us now discuss your work. The first thing to do is to arrange the scores in ascending order. And then the, the arrangement would be 101, 101, 109, 114, 116, 118, 124, 125, 126, and 130. Using this arrangement, let us now identify the second quartile. Now, since there are 10 scores, the second quartile is between the 5th and 6th score. Therefore, to identify the second quartile, that will be 116 plus 118 divided by 2, which is equal to 234 over 2, or simply 117. There are only 5 scores at the lower quartile. Therefore, we can easily identify the middle score of the lower quartile which will represent our first quartile and that would be 109. Therefore, quartile 1 is at 109. Same thing with the third quartile. The middle score of the upper quartile is 125. Therefore, 125 is at quartile 3. Solving for the interquartile range using the values of Q sub 1 and Q sub 3, that is equal to 125 minus 109, which is equal to 16. That means that the interquartile range is equal to 16. Thank you for watching Sir Ocnex YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math. Enjoy learning! Thank you and God bless!